So Marvel Studios just uh, responded, you know, last week DC announced the full slate of films. Well, so did Marvel Studios, and they discussed a lot. So I'm going to jump right into this. I was following the live blog from the Marvel Studios announcement that they had today, um, which was October 28, 2014, and they released a lot of logos, teaser trailers, uh, characters, actors, and a lot of films. So let's get started with um, the first one that's uh, that they discussed, which was Doctor Strange, which was released November 4th, 2016. As we all know, uh, it was announced that Benedict Cumberbatch would be playing uh, the title character Doctor Strange, but Kevin Feige went on to say that uh, if it was confirmed, they would have announced it today. So, Benedict Cumberbatch is not confirmed as Doctor Strange at the moment. Then they released um, Captain America 3, uh, Serpent Society, which was released May 6, 2016, but they went on to change the title to Captain America Civil War. And the the storyline to Captain America Civil War will be very different um, from the comics. Then they uh, had shifted some dates for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. You know, it was supposed to be released in July, I think, 2017. But they upped it to May 5th, 2017. And they also released Black Panther uh, November 3rd, 2017. And they already have an actor for Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman will be playing Black Panther. As you all know, he played Jackie Robinson in 42 and James Brown in Get On Up. And they also went on to say that Black Panther will be in full costume in Captain America Civil War and have a big role in that film. They also went on to release Captain Marvel July 6, 2018. And the character will spend a lot of time between Earth and outer space. And they'll be looking for casting very soon. And they'll also be releasing writers and directors quite soon for Captain Marvel. They also went on to release Thor Ragnarok, uh, July 2008-2017. And Hildenson and Hemsworth will be returning for that. Then they also re went to release uh, November 2nd, 2018, Inhumans. And that there'll be some Easter eggs that will set up the Inhumans. Uh, you know, I like how Avengers or... Phase one was at the end of each film, they had little um, Easter eggs for each new character. That's how they're going to do in humans. They're going to be doing that. A lot of Easter eggs throughout that will set up the Inhumans. Then they went on to show some teasers for some Avenger films. And uh, they had um, the Soul Gems, you know, uh, Loki's uh, staff, and the Infinity Gauntlet. Then they went on to release the Avengers Infinity War part one and part two part one will be released uh may 4th 2018 and part two will be released may 3rd 2019 sorry for this little bit jumping around that's how they kind of did uh announce the films they jumped around a little bit uh then he had a q and a session at the end of the announcement and some things uh were pretty interesting they asked about spider-man and he said it's either not true at all or they're ready to not announce anything at the moment. Do you guys think that Sony will give up the rights to Spider-Man uh, for to Marvel Studios? It'd be interesting if Spider-Man joined Marvel Studios. Then they went on to talk about uh, standalone films for Hulk and Black Widow. They said that they would like to see a standalone Hulk film. Um, after 2019, but right at the moment, there's nothing for it. And Black Widow, the same, because they both play really well in the Avengers film and work alongside them really well. And that's why they're not worried about making standalone films. They asked about the Runaways and that they have a script, but nothing's ready just yet. So a lot of things were announced today at this Marvel Studios special event. And um, I can't even process these things. There's so, so there's a lot of things. You know, DC last week and Marvel this week and up till 2019. So I have a full slate of the films. So these are in order. Captain America Civil War, May 6, 2016. Doctor Strange, November 4th, 2016. 
Guardians of the Galaxy 2, May 5th, 2017. Thor, Ragnarok, July 28th, 2017. And Black Panther, November 3rd, 2017. Stacked year, 2017. That's going to be a big year. Then we'll have um, Avengers Infinity War Part 1, May 4th, 2018. Captain Marvel, July 6th, 2018. Inhumans, November 2nd, 2018. Another stacked year. And then Avengers uh, Infinity War Part 2, November, or May 3rd, 2019, sorry. And uh, anything after that is not confirmed yet, and we'll see. Through 2019, that's only five years from now. Nine films, that is crazy. So what do you guys think about all of these films that uh, Marvel Studios just announced? Some rumors with Spider-Man uh, joining Marvel Studios. Um, Black Widow having her own films, The Runaways, Hulk maybe after 2019. A lot of things are were announced and speculated today. And we'll see some uh, casting announcements for um, Captain Marvel soon. Writers and directors, writers and directors for Black Panther, writer and directors for Thor and Doctor Strange. Or we already got the director for that, but in Humans, Infinity War, we'll... Josh Whedon be returning for Avengers 3 Part 1 and Part 2. I would love to see that. But a lot of things are changing. And you notice what was not in those films? Iron Man 4 was not in that. So I'm glad to see that he is not in there. Because I'm kind of getting tired of Iron Man. And would like to see a bunch of new characters. So this is just watching movies with um, discussion on the announcements from... Uh, Marvel Studios today, the event at El Capitan Theater in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I need to go process this, so I'll, go, I'll see you guys later. Bye.